Lagos, the commercial nerve center of Nigeria's pulsing economy and home to over 27 million inhabitants, is dependent on no less than 15,000 megawatts of backup generator capacity and expensive heavily polluting distillates such as petrol and diesel. Hence, the Lagos state government's resolve to drive a new policy and strategic framework to improve the investment climate in the state's electricity market under the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources mandate. We need each other's strengths, we need each other's idea, we need each other's knowledge to be able to form real partnership. And in forming those partnerships is to be able to coordinate those partnerships and be able to collaborate. You know, you can go first and where I'm coming right behind you. And if you need to switch roles, let's understand that we are all in the game together. With this unveiling comes heightened expectations from Lagosians. So what does this occasion signal for the future? The intention is to have universal access to electricity in Lagos. Universal access to electricity just means electricity when you need it and in the quantity that you desire it and when you want it. So it's got to be reliable, it's got to be adequate and it's got to be of the right quality. That's what we're going after. There are very simple first steps that we can look at. One is to first of all, as was said at the panel session, determine where the demand is and determine where the bottlenecks are and determine what the investment requirement is and then determine what the fiscal regime should be such that people would be interested in investing in that sector. And that's what we're trying to do today. Hitherto, Lagos State has not been in position to address a framework for the energy sector. We're doing that now. The need to explore alternative and cleaner energy sources was also addressed robustly. The energy degree for the whole country has only services 10% of the nation. That then means we have to start looking at alternate sources of power renewable sources of power and the most renewable and cheapest of this is the sun when we have panels that can capture the energy from the sun release it to us overnight and we capture it again during the day we're shifting the demand on the grid thereby reducing the amount of fossil fuels we're burning even with model vehicles, which we find is the greatest source of air pollution in Lagos, we're advocating hybriding your cars, use gas and petrol or diesel. Gas will soon be widely available, affordable, and right now we're at the stage of sensitization. We can't tell you to hybrid your car when there's nowhere to refill your car. So it's something that would happen very soon. Abby, Owolawi, for Arise News.